Hello, and welcome. I'm Bio, and that's right, we're doing some Garfield games. You may be wondering, where's the intro? It's because I decided to not do intros anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I was noticing that not really that many people were watching the the intros, they were just going straight into the game, so I was like, oh, okay then. So I thought, obviously, people might not like the intros, so I decided to stop doing them, because they, they take a little bit of a... Uh, effort to do so if people aren't watching them what's the point at the end of the day so yeah so starting off with Garfield and going forward we're just not going to do intros anymore for a, a set or a series so so in this case uh, we're going to be doing some Garfield games I will still show the wheel as you did see the, the little spin of the wheel just to show you that this is the this is what did get selected randomly so and Garfield dies fantastic um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll still show that, but yeah, yeah. The other thing is, is also with Garfield. I don't feel like Garfield really needs an introduction. Like, I don't. If you, if you haven't heard of Garfield, what have you been living under a rock? So, but yeah, we're gonna be playing some Garfield games. It's gonna be quite a big set, but it's gonna be a set that's gonna go over a couple of months. So, yeah, we're gonna be out doing some other stuff in between as well. So, starting off with Garfield No Issue Can, A Week of Garfield, which is, uh, which only got released in Japan. Yeah, it seems to have a lot of English involved for a game that got released only in Japan. It was developed by Mars Corp, published by Toa Chiki, and released in April 1989 for the Famicom. So, yeah. I find it very surprising. Okay, well, I guess we just jump in straight in. Oh god, look at him! Hello, hello! Look at his eyes. We got his eyes just bulging out like. Yippee! <laughs> he turns a little bit Sonic looking. He looks a little, just a little bit Sonic looking. Oh my god, look at him go! Oh, we got some coffee. Fantastic. Yes, John. I'm going to eat all. I'm going to drink all your coffee. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, was that a turd? Oh god. It's Mr. Mouse! No, no, not Mr. Mouse. Leave me alone. Oh god, he came at me. You see that? He came at me like... <laughs> oh, more coffee. We just can't keep finding more coffee. Oh, there's little bugs going around. Oh. Found something else. Oh, now we're on top of the door. I could do... Why can I walk like this? Why is that an option? <laughs> I can't help doing this. Look at that. <laughs> Oh no, it's a frog. Oh god! Oh god! You stay away from me, you! Evil frog! You stay... <laughs> Quickly, run! Can't have the frog. Look at that kick! How pathetic of a kick. Okay, well, I'll just go underneath. Really? It hurt me! And the spider killed me. Fantastic! So how do so the spider follows you wherever you go, but you can't kill the spider. I'd like to point out, look at his pathetic waste of life kick this is. Look at it. It doesn't even leave the hitbox that he's under. His hitbox must be a square, and it doesn't even leave the square. He's just there. It's like I just ba barely managed to get the mouse. It's like, yep, that'll do. Hi. I'd like to point out that literally there's two buttons. So. There's be like hidden power ups everywhere. How am I supposed to get past this spider? I notice that there's a... There seems to be like a selection thing. Just look at the selection thing. There's a selection thing at the top right. And there's a bug of paw. So is there like a button I've got to press? Keep in mind that this is the NES. This is the Famicom. There's like the D-pad plus two buttons. That's all there is. So do I press the two buttons together? Mash the mash, mash, mash the controller, and hopefully something happens. You can't beat me. 
Look at the spider. Leave me alone. What do I do to you? And there's no way to get past the spider either. I just want to point out that there's no way to get past the spider. Because he just follows you everywhere. And there's like knock back. Knock back. But how am I supposed to get past this dude? I don't even know. Oh god. Alright. I tell you what we're gonna I'm gonna have a look on I'm gonna have a look at someone else play on YouTube. Because I don't I What I don't this is why you don't see me play these old games. Because very simply, I don't get far in them. Because there's normally some bullshit that prevents me from getting far in the game. Like this fucking spider. Like clearly there's a way to get past this spider. There has to be. But how how am I supposed to find it out? I'm pressing and you know Unfortunately, the problem is with these old school games. It's not like with like PS One or or PS One games Gen Five or further, where you can just mash buttons and eventually something will happen. You'll be like, ah, how did I do that? And you'll figure it out. In these games, normally it's like you have to press like the Konami code just to do one thing. No wonder people didn't. You know, what if I can't believe? You know, when I look back at and think of games of this time. I, I, I just feel sorry for whoever had to deal with this. I just do. Because it was just bullshit. Just too much bullshit. I wouldn't have been into video games if these were the video games we had. If I'm honest with you. <laughs> right, so I'm going to have a quick look. I'll be back. I shit you not. Apparently I can jump. I can jump and... It's... You would think that I'd be able to do this and kill the spider, right? No, jump and uh, if I jump and press that button, which by the way, there's, there's just the sound effect. Listen, there's just the sound effect. There's no like indicator that he's actually doing anything. No, Mr. Mouse, you stay away. No, no. What just happened? Why is there a quick menu just opened up for RetroArch? Because of course I'm playing this on RetroArch, by the way. I just a menu just appeared. Whoop! I get like bloody a star. Well, it that just drains all your life. Get out of my way! Get out of my goddamn way! Goth will kick your ass! Don't make me get- no, don't make, no, don't make me get the stick! Get out of here! Get that logger shit revised out of here, boys. <laughs> How do I get past the door? Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out of here! So, we're once again at a point where, oh, there's more coffee, fantastic. It's like a door. <laughs> we'll go through the window? So cryptic, these games, honestly. It just makes me laugh, because I, I feel like, oh god. Aha, there was a key. Nah, oh my god. See how cryptic that was? Why was there a key in the windowsill? And he killed me. So, you telling me I couldn't beat the baseball? You couldn't kick the baseball away? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. No, see, this is the thing with old games. I don't like them. I hate them. Because just, they're just poor. I can't do it. You know, I've added a few old games, but... I've only added three old games to look at for Garfield. This is why you don't see me looking at like the Commodore games or saying anything like that for Garfield. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Because all you'll get is just me going, shit, shit, it's fucking shit, shit. But then it'll be like people, there'll be people who had this game when they was a kid, when they were a kid, and they'll they'll defend it and they'll go, no, it's fine, it's it's perfectly fine for the era. And I'm like, I wasn't in that era, so I don't know, and I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, so I'm not willing to give it a free pass. This is the, again, this is the reason why you don't see me play games like this, because, you know, all I will do is just shit on them. I will shit on them. There's only, like, a very minute amount of games. Yeah, there's only, a, like, a small minute amount of games that you'll see, you, you'll see me 
actually praise from this time period, like Legend of Zelda or Super Mario Brothers. There isn't many. Mostly the Nintendo developed, and there isn't many. Oh. Unless there may be like an RPG. So yeah, um, so that was... I'm not willing to play any more of uh, A Week of Garfield. Yeah, it's just... It's exactly what you'd expect from a platformer of its time. Horrendous, like... I am just saying, just like, why give Garfield a kick? Have him live, I don't know, throw lasagna at the enemies. At least then it'll be a little more interesting and you've got a projectile you can use. And don't tell me, oh, but that, that top right, that actually shows you the weapons you can use. I pressed every button on the controller. Fuck you. Nothing changed. Oh, but you've got to do the Konami code. Then you've got to jump up and down. Do the hokey pokey and turn around. And then you can use another weapon. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, okay. That's it. That's it for Garfield. I've been Bio. Thanks for watching. See you later.